Hi everyone, I'm Don Crafton, co-founder of Sight Reading Factory. I'm making this video because as we've been setting up a lot of free accounts for folks to use as a remote e-learning or distance learning solution during the school closures due to the COVID-19 virus, we've been getting some comments like, I hope my students use it and I need 100 accounts, but I'm not sure how many will use it and things like that. So it made me pause and think in the midst of frantically setting up all these accounts that we're setting up accounts for a lot of folks who are brand new to using Sight Reading Factory student accounts and may be unfamiliar with how SRF works in general and some of the powerful features we have. We definitely think your students will enjoy using Sight Reading Factory and get a lot out of it. So I wanted to make a short video explaining some important features that you might not be aware that you have available to you. Giving your students a Sight Reading Factory student account is not just a way to make it available for them for general sight reading practice, although that's clearly a valuable feature. We also wanted to make sure you knew you could use Sight Reading Factory as an assessment tool while your students were away from school and be able to have an objective way to grade them while they're away. So the main purpose of this video is to make sure you are aware that you can create sight reading assignments for your students that they can complete by recording themselves through our platform and then they submit the assignment to you so that you can see the music that was generated for them, listen to their recording, grade their submission, and leave feedback. So once you get student account, you will get a student code that you give out to your students to redeem. As a side note, if you're using Sight Reading Factory through Music First or Canvas, your, stu your students won't have to redeem a student code because they will access Sight Reading Factory directly through their Music First or Canvas accounts. So let's start with a brief look at how, student, how a student redeems a student code. I encourage you to try this out yourself by logging out of your educator account and redeeming a student code yourself. You can always revoke your code usage for the test account and get your code usage back. So your students will go to sightreadingfactory.com forward slash students. When they get there, they'll be prompted to enter a student code. They will enter your student code and click redeem. After entering your student code, they will select their age group and complete their profile and click subscribe. So after your student redeems your student code, they now have a subscription to Sight Reading Factory and they're linked to your account. Now, at any time after you have a subscription and your student code, you can start creating your classes and creating assignments for those classes. To create a class, go to your dashboard and click on the Classes link at the top. From there, click the New button, fill out the information, and click Save. You've now created a class. Once you have created a class, your students can enroll themselves into the class on their dashboard. Here's a view of what that looks like from the student view or you can enroll them into your class in the enrollment section on your class page. Here's a view of what that looks like. After you've made your class, you can create an assignment for that class. To do that, go to one of your class pages and click the new button in the assignment section. This takes you to a form where you can configure an assignment for your student. I won't go into all the details in this video, but we do have another video on how to create an assignment that I encourage you to watch but you can set things like the due date, the level, the time and key signature, how many measures, how long the countdown timer should be. If you'd like any annotations, such as solfege, scale degrees, or pitch names on the notes, etc. After you've configured everything to your needs, click Save at the bottom of the page to create your assignment. Now that your assignment is created, it will show up on your students' accounts on the Assignments tab of their dashboard. So we'll switch back to the student view so that you can see what launching an assignment as a student looks like. From the Assignments tab, your students would click Launch for the assignment they want to take. They do a quick mic check, which I can skip for now because I've recently done one, pick their instrument and any other settings you didn't configure for them, and launch the assignment. They are presented with a countdown timer during which they should study the exercise. They can press the tuning fork icon to get the opening pitch, and they can press the metronome icon to get the tempo for the exercise. After the countdown expires, there is a visual and audio preparatory beat click off, and then the student begins performing. After they're done, they now have the ability to self-assess. They have three options, listen to their recording, listen to synthetic audio of the music, or listen to their recording plate on top of the synthetic audio. If they like their recording, they can submit it to you. If they don't, they can try another. If they try another, it generates a new exercise and they get a fresh countdown timer and they can make another recording. Now we'll switch back to the teacher view so that you can see what it looks like after they've submitted their assignment to you. We have a video on how to grade assignments, but I'll briefly demonstrate it here. 
you'll go to the assignments tab on your dashboard and you can sort by the ungraded column to see if you have any ungraded assignments. You can also click the grade button at the top of the assignments tab to quickly and easily find all ungraded assignment submissions. When you do that, it opens the grade page where you can see an individual student's assignment submission. Among other things, you can see the music that was presented to them, you can listen to their recording, and you can leave a grade and feedback. After grading their assignment, you can save it and the grade and feedback is shared back with the student. After grading that student's submission, it automatically goes to the next ungraded assignment submission. I also wanted to briefly mention another great way to use Sight Reading Factory with your students is the Reports feature. From your dashboard, you can click the View My Reports button to see various reports on the students in your classes. You can also click on specific students and view reports on each student, such as the Sessions report, to see how much time a student has spent using the site. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy using Sight Reading Factory.